Hey guys, welcome back to another update video. Woo 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 woo. <laughs> so, ignore her. Have you seen in the past two videos, we've been doing menopause injections, 75 IU every night. Amy did my first one, she abandoned me, left me to do it myself. And she, on one of the other days. Yeah, quite a few of the other days, I've had to do it so many times myself. But I put a video of my me doing it myself for, for the first time, um, and that's been uploaded as our last video. So if you've not seen that, check it out. It was on a Wednesday, so we don't usually upload on a Wednesday. So. No, so you might have missed it. But she did really, really well. I was so proud of myself. I'm so proud of you too. I kept asking her if she was proud of me. <laughs> I was like, yes dear, yes. Um, but yeah, we're going to update you on, so two appointments in this video. Mm -hmm. So Wednesday's appointment was nine days, is cycle day nine? Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. Wednesday's appointment was cycle day nine. So I have here on my phone what the measurements were. Mm -hmm. So this is just to check the size of the follicles. Yeah, and check there's not too many. And I was super nervous going into this appointment. Like, the only thing at that point that could have kind of, well, that I know of, that could have stopped us going forward is if there were too many follicles. Mm. And I was pooping myself. I was quite chilled until I got into the appointment and yeah. oh my goodness, like, my heart was absolutely pounding. Yeah, it was, it was so nerve-wracking. Yeah. But. Have we had so the lining was 6.62 um which was good yeah. and then we had a lucy had sorry we we've got I joint follicles <laughs> lucy had on her right side she had one dominant follicle which was 12 millimeters and then there were some smaller ones but then on the left side the high the, the largest follicle was 7.2 millimeters um yeah which isn't that big but i was a bit Gr not grumpy. Amy was grumpy. So I went in between night shifts, so I was a bit tired and a little bit grumpy. Grumpy. And I didn't quite understand that... Y you told me that afterwards that they swi it switches sides each mm. month really when the dom do where the dominant follicle usually is naturally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was like, why is it on the right side again? Is it going to cyst again? But and obviously then, we'd skip yeah. the previous month because we had a cyst. So... Yeah. so so I was, I was, I was reassured that it was fine. Um, she was there quizzing the doctor, I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But then they sent us away and said, do carry on with the injections. And they tried to say, come back on Monday, which would have been another five day, four yeah. days on injections, four, five. Whereas last cycle when we went and did it, we had pretty much the same size follicle on that day scan. And they had us back within two days, and mm. on that that next scan, um, we were ready to trigger. So I was like, no, last time we could do it then. Hold up, Lucy's still getting her knickers on at this point behind the curtain. Yeah, and, and she, I'm, she I'm having a <laughs> she word can't with see the that, doctor. But she can't see that I was also about to fight her corner and say, no, we want to come back Friday. And from behind this curtain, like, I don't no. know, probably one leg in her knickers <laughs> and one not. And she's like, no, that's not okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. I wasn't saying it like that. Yeah, but I was like, my mouth literally opened to say. Yeah, I knew, and it was already coming out of my mouth. <laughs> but yeah, like last last cycle, they was like, yeah, it probably won't reach it by this time, but it did. So I was like, we'll give it a go this time. We'll get the appointment yeah. on Friday. She was like, yeah, if you want to, but it'll be a waste of time because it won't be big enough. So on Friday, it comes round again. We're nervous, not nervous again that they'll there'd be too many because we know there won't be at this point. Yeah only been an extra two days um but we we're still nervous because that's just how we, you feel in that that waiting room um and it was ready <laughs> yeah she first measured it and at first she said like it was like 16 point something yeah um and i could see on the scan because i was watching that it was very big it was a lot bigger than the rest and i was like oh it's gonna be ready she said 16 point something at first and i was like oh uh, not okay. quite big enough um and then she re-measured it when she showed Lou. So yeah, she showed me and then she was like, oh, let's do this and like, measure it again. And I don't know if it was that she measured it from a different angle or whatever, but when she re-measured it, it, it was, was, like, yeah, it was 17. 17. Big enough to trigger. Yeah. So I was like, I told you so. It was a different doctor, but I made it known that I'd put my uh, opinion forward and it worked. <laughs> yeah. If we'd have waited until mon Monday, 
the way was at least would have ovulated on our own. Oh, yeah, I was really worried um, that I was going to ovulate, and then because our clinic doesn't open on a Sunday, I was like, what? Like we'd just be screwed if it happened. Then. So I was like, I want it on the Friday. Mm. So yeah, so we went in and it was fine, and it was seventy millimeters, and we did the trigger shot, which was um, <laughs> good. Yeah, it was alright. Like just a, I hate the trigger shot. It gives me such a horrific headache. Mm. Every time, well, I've done it twice. <laughs> every time, <laughs> every time, it gives me such a horrific headache. Then it's you horrible. said the last time you had an awful headache, didn't you? Yeah, that came on straight away. So we bought our pineapple, and the Brazil nuts, the Brazil, the Brazil nuts, <laughs> and we've got our little stuff pineapple ready to go for our appointment. Are you all ready? When I told them we would be. <laughs> well done, chicken. So, next video you see will be Are You Ida? How exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. And nerve wracking. It's, it's, it is nerve wracking, but it's really exciting. Mm. Hopeful. It's yeah, going to be the one. Or is it people say lucky number two? Lucky number two. Yeah. We know it's been lucky number two for quite a couple of our friends that we've made over this journey. So, fingers crossed. We're feeling very hopeful, very nervous. I've also told Lucy that she can buy an outfit <laughs> um, because we bought an outfit on the last IUI day, um, like for the baby, potential baby. Yeah, not for me. <laughs> yeah, not for Lucy. I do need some new clothes, new clothes though. And <laughs> um, she wanted to buy it today and I was like, no, not low. tomorrow, IUI day. So we're going to go in tomorrow and get an outfit. Uh, Just, apparently it's not so fair exciting. if we um, bought one last time and not this time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's just any excuse, basically. I'm yeah. buying baby clothes. We hope you enjoyed the video. Drop us a comment down below. Keep wish everything close. Wish us some luck, because when next video will be a IUI video. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Anyway. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. Um, check out the video from Wednesday if you've missed it. I was so brave. I'm still so proud of myself. Give it a big thumbs up. I've already said this. We've, yeah. we've both already, I don't know, every time, we, every time we try and wrap up the video we go through this over and over again. But basically, see you next week. Bye! Bye.